I have a new collecting obsession. I have a complete Nintendo 64 collection for the most part. And now I'm going for a complete Japanese Nintendo 64 set. I have a bunch of games I'm going to show off. So let's get right into the video. All right, I will show what's in that box momentarily. But I gotta be honest, I have been very, very obsessed with this Japanese N64 set. I'm just as excited about it as I was whenever I completed my North American set for the N64. Now it's actually very hard to track these down. I found these off of Facebook Marketplace. Uh, this was a really, really good deal. I believe I paid something like $120 for everything included in this box. And uh, there actually are some PAL games um, in this box. But I am very, very motivated to have a complete Japanese N64 set. Uh, there's something around uh, 80 to 90 Japanese exclusives. And I want to go more for the exclusives uh, than just the entire set. But uh, that might be an eventual goal. Also, the PAL set, uh, I would like to get all the PAL exclusives. Now, the PAL games I got in here, they're not exclusive, but I got them for a really, really good price, and I'll explain why I got one in particular. So, uh, let, let's get into the box, shall we? Okay, so uh, one other thing. Uh, some of these games, I am not going to know the name of them. Uh, I do know if it's a North American game like this is Dual Heroes I believe and uh, this I, I bought this was a singular game I got off of Facebook uh, marketplace and I'm telling you I find all kinds of deals for Japanese N64 games off the of marketplace that's a good place to check uh, I also might have a sweet hookup uh, with someone that goes to Japan on the regular and uh, they might be able to hook me up with some uh, uh, some games I'm looking for. And uh, it, it's, it's a weird set to collect for. There are some oddities out there. There's like a train simulator thing. Uh, now the actual like train simulator controls, uh, that's really, really rare and hard to find and really expensive. So stuff like that I'm not going to go for. Uh, also, I don't go for CIB necessarily if I find a CIB for dirt cheap I will pick it up but uh, cart only I'm fine with that you know just having the cart and that's how I am with my uh, my North American set I don't have all my games complete in box but yeah man I have not been uh, this motivated to collect uh, any set or uh, for any system like this in a long time uh, and uh, this lot, I, I had to show it off. So again, we're gonna get into it. Sorry for all the explanations. All right, here we go. Uh, again, I am not gonna try to pronounce some of these games. Uh, if I know what they are, so be it. If not, I'll probably make something up. Uh, like for example, uh, this is uh, Baseball 5. That, that's the only thing I can uh, read on there besides Konami. Baseball 5. Okay, and there's actually some doubles in here, and that's actually going to help me absorb some of this, and I'm going to be able to sell or trade some of these. Uh, Mario Party, is it 1? Yeah, this is 1. Mario Party 1. And I do have a Japanese N64 I can play these on, and actually all you have to do is you got to get the, the driver and you can change out the back. You can flip a, a North American back on these and play them in a North American uh, in 64. It's that simple. I believe the screwdrivers themselves are like, you know, three or four bucks. I have a couple. And I, that's the way I used to do it. Now I just play them on my Japanese in 64. Uh, Sun 64. I have no idea what the heck this is. This is an exclusive. So that's going in my exclusive pile. Uh, same with this baseball game. Uh, Mario Party 3, not an exclusive, but I will try to knock these off when I can. Like if I can buy a big lot like this, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to do that. Uh, here's baseball game number four. 
Uh, sorry guys, I, I I look up the names of these games too, and like I can't pronounce them, or I don't want to know how to pronounce them. I just know I need it. Uh, there's a lot of those baseball games, so that's an exclusive. Uh, Super Mario 64. Now there's two versions. There's one I don't remember. We'll pull out the other one in a second, but one has Rumble Pack compatibility. I think it's this one. I think. Uh, so we'll put that one off to the side. Um, I do have this one already. I have it CIB. It's the uh, the Winter Olympics game, whatever whatever it is. So that's going in my doubles pile. Mario Tennis. This is also another double of mine. So I'll put that up for sale. Uh, Yoshi's Story. Don't have it. Uh, really mint label there. So yeah, that's that's not an exclusive. Obviously, uh, Hey You Pikachu. Such a weird game anyway. Very Japanese, if you will. Um, this, ah, ah, ah. I think this is the first Mystical Ninja, or, or whatever it's called on the N64. Uh, gosh dang it. I think it's the first one that came out in North America. Not an exclusive. I don't think. I'll double check. Um, oh, two copies of it. So there's a double. And you're, you're going to see that. There's a few doubles in here, like I said. Um, I do have this, I believe, CIB. Um, it looks like it's... Oh, man, what the heck? Uh, like Gundam Wing or something? Like Chibi Gundam Wing or whatever? I don't know. I'm going to have to double check that to see if I have it or not. I think I do. We'll see. Um, Ogre Battle 64... Uh, this is a double as well, so that's going in the doubles pile. Um, oh, this is a Flying Dragon. Um, not an exclusive Culture Brain, and look, there's a Japanese label on there. Uh, your guess is as good as mine. I mean, I guess they had the same troubles we had with no end label, if you will, but uh, don't have it. Um, oh. These are the PAL games, so I'll set those off to the side. We'll do that last. Here's Bomberman 64. I have Second Attack, the Japanese version. Um, World Cup France 1998. I think this is an exclusive. And guys, I'm not an expert on these like I am with the, the North American set, because I grew up with the North American set. Some of these games I, I have no idea or, you know, obviously cannot pronounce them. Um, oh, this is a PAL exclusive, so we'll put that off to the side. Uh, Super Mario Kart 64. So, yeah, pretty cool. Um, uh, Soccer 1997. <laughs> uh, again, no idea. Um, but that is an exclusive, so that's nice. Uh, this is, oh my gosh, it's kind of like uh, River King, kind of like Harvest Moon to a certain degree, I guess. I don't know, but it is an exclusive. It's really hard to, uh, to, to do this video when you don't know the names of the games, but I do know I need it. I have a list, I have an app, and really what I do is I look at the picture more than anything. Here's Ogre Battle 64, another copy, and really that's dirt cheap. That goes for dirt cheap. Uh, another baseball game. I just picked this up complete in box for dirt, 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 dirt cheap. So that's going in the doubles pile. Um, this is a, a double. So this is uh, Super Smash Brothers. And uh, uh, the artwork on this is okay. It's, you know, got some anime esque artwork on it. So that's a double. Uh, Mario 64. So this. Yeah, this has got to be the one that's Rumble compatible. And then, yeah, this was re-released uh, when the Rumble Pack came out. So, uh, very cool to have both going in the collection. Uh, this is like a Tamagotchi game. I do know that. I own it. I haven't tried it. It looks really, really bizarre. So, that's a double. Um, here's a double of that baseball game. Um, 
Mario Party 2. So I have all three Mario Parties, and I have the North American Mario Parties, obviously. Um, uh, Pocket Monster... Is this two or one? I'll have to double check, because there actually were three uh, Pokemon Stadiums that came out in Japan. So that's one I'm gonna have to double check. That's in my check pile. Uh, another copy of Pocket Monsters again. So that's a double. These are, this feels so heavy. Uh, DK64, didn't have it. Pretty nice. Uh, Star Fox 64, Stevie actually bought a copy of the CIB at uh, Missouri Game Con uh, 2022, so that's cool. Uh, I let him have it because I know he's a huge Star Fox fan. And then uh, this, oh sweet, another end label, F-Zero X, one of my favorite Nintendo 64 games. I like this label a lot more than the uh, North American one. And then there's that end label. <laughs> yeah. Pretty cool. It's There's English on it, that's cool. So not an exclusive, but still. Try, like I said, knocking them out when I can. Uh, Smash, a double. Zelda. 64 own it already CIB uh, the Japanese version so that's a dub easy sell there um, here's another copy of Bomberman that's another dub um, J J League um, J League I did a little research on it I don't know why but that's the Japanese um, like their soccer league over there like uh, M ML, or what is it? What is it here? MLS over here in the United States. So that's an exclusive. A lot of soccer. There's some pachinko games. Uh, baseball. There's uh, some like derby racing games. Things like that. Uh, Mahjong. I think I'm saying that right. Um, games that nobody in North America would want to play. Um, another double of this. I'm going to have to double check in my collection uh, Mario Kart 64 another copy so I'm gonna have a lot of things to trade look for Mario 60 uh, Mario Super Smash Brothers another copy Tamagotchi again another Tamagotchi game DK another copy I got a lot of doubles here um, this is an exclusive. Now, I looked up the price of this one. Um, I think, so there's a sequel to it. The sequel is really, really expensive. Uh, so this is King of Pro Baseball. Uh, there's actually English on it. But I think the sequel to it is like 180 bucks loose. Something like that. I could be wrong. The prices on these are tricky. But that's an exclusive. Um, we got Banjo Kazooie 2, or Banjo Tooie, but it, it's labeled here Banjo Kazooie 2. So that's I like that label. You know, you got the puzzle piece there. So that's going in the collection. Hey, you Pikachu again. And then uh, I did pick up two pal, ex not not exclusives, uh, just to have. And uh, if you're curious, if you have a PAL game, it's really easy. I'll show you here in a second. But I ended up getting GoldenEye. Um, and uh, yeah, I have every version of GoldenEye now. I have the Japanese version, the North American version. I have the North American bestseller and also the original release. And then I guess I need to get the PAL version that's not the million seller. This is the million seller. But if you look in the little corner here, it'll say what region it is. Okay, so this says, um, e, uh, it'll say for Europe, E-U-R there, okay? And that, that's how you can tell, and then also the back. If you look at the back, the, the backs are gonna be different. And these actually are the same backs as uh, Japanese N64 games here. Um, so yeah, that's how you can tell the difference. Uh, I'm, I'm not, like I said, I would like to work on this set first and then the PAL games 
afterwards like the exclusives for the PAL uh, games that came out in Europe uh, because this might become too much um, and I'm missing oh my gosh oh, I want to say whew, probably now uh, probably something like 40 Japanese exclusive games there's some weird ones in there too and I believe the PAL set there's uh, exclusive wise something like 30 to 40 uh, and I have zero of those except for you know these obviously so yeah and my nuts yeah duh uh, but this has been fun this has been really fun and uh, you know buying the doubles is gonna help uh, recuperate some of this um, and maybe I'll do some trading we'll see um, let me know if you guys want me to do a uh, I, I kind of want to wait until I get a full set, but uh, let me know if you want me to do a collection video on my Japanese games I have right now. I have a ton of CIB. I have some really cool ones like uh, Beast Wars and, and the uh, Pokemon Stadium games um, and things like that. I do need Majora's Mask, and there's two versions of Majora's Mask that came out. Um, in Japan and there's like a special edition one that I, I'm looking for and then there's a bunch of special editions uh, like Mario Kart there's one with the controller and uh, there's just a lot of weird things do I want um, the, the DD system yeah I would love to have that because that's technically Japanese exclusive but man those are hard to come by they're um, really really expensive too and Man, I, I don't know. I don't know. That might draw the line for me for N64 collecting. And yeah, I'm just having fun with it. Having fun. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you want me to do a collection video. And uh, if this is worth it, do you collect uh, import games? I don't really go for import games. Uh, this is kind of out of my realm. But I'm having fun with it. So yeah. Alright guys, well thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, uh, leave a comment down below, tell me what is your all time favorite Nintendo 64 game. Mine? Oh man, that's tough. That is tough. Alright, thanks for watching, and have a great rest of your day.